must maintain a proper distance from others, excluding those that live in their household. Remember to practice proper hygiene. Wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and warm water to effectively combat germs after you go outside. Stay away from others if you are sick. So let's check this out. Try it now. here I gotta do say that it's totally fine if you don't like using me. I don't feel emotions very well, so it doesn't hurt. It does kind of tickle for some reason. Yeah, We're leaving. I guess, I guess we're leaving. 
You're really on fire, aren't you? Obviously, you're not as good at bounty hunting as I used to be, but hey, I'm gloppy enough to admit you're doing pretty damn well. Turn in that bounty. Mm. Hey, yeah. Uh, I actually wanted to run something by you. How would you feel about me maybe fixing up my old bounty hunting ads? Maybe putting you in them to drum up business? I mean, my name will still be bigger than yours in the logo, but we'd be stupid not to capitalize on your whoa, whoa, reputation. Whoa, who's this guy? Yo, you guys are fresh out of Friendelos. Who's this oh. guy? Hey, I I'm Twig. I'm dating your sister. Uh, this fucking guy. Twig, you need to leave. Um, Lizzie says it's cool if I'm here. You're just gonna let this sack of shit eat all my friendelos and tongue kiss your sister? I'm the one who bought those fucking friendelos. And leave Twig alone. You know he has a barbed tongue and he's very sensitive about it. I can go. No, Twig. You're staying. Tell him he's staying. Look, he doesn't even love you. He's just after our house. It's our house. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Twig, you gotta be careful around Lizzie. She's just gonna hit it and quit it. Real heartbreaker. I'd get out now while you're still in the green. And hey, you want a real lover? Talk to me. Don't you have a galaxy to fuck? Come on, tell him to leave. What? Mm. This ain't a test. Just trust your gut. I don't like him. Oh, come on. You shouldn't even get to decide. It's my house, too, you know? Fuck all of you. Aw. Not you, Twig. I love you, baby. Ah! Disgusting! Look at this! They're not even the same species! Do, do you know Dude, how many holes one. he has? Nice and they're all really advanced level holes. <clears throat> you really gotta take my nephew instead. His holes are more your speed. Shut the hell up, Gene. I am sick of your shit. All you do is sit on up, our bro? couch and mope about how sad Quit your me down. Is. You're a leech thought. trying to eat all of our friendelos and use the only family I have left to relive your glory mm. days. Hey, your family's doing a great job. You know how hard it is to kill that many high-level bounties in such a short amount of time? I mean, it's not as fast as I could have done it, but uh... I know they're doing a great job, and I'm proud of them. But I'm stuck here dealing with you all the time, and you're fucking pathetic. Tell him how pathetic he is. Gene is pathetic. Yeah, no shit. I'm pathetic. That's my whole deal. I'm homeless and legless and probably riddled with mental illnesses, which I'd know for sure if I didn't think therapy was a fake idea. You don't need to rub it in. I'll rub it in all I want. You're like 80 years old. You can't take a little shit talking from a teenage girl. Jesus, I'm not 80. I'm 230. And that's really young for my species. I just don't want your creep boyfriend to steal my couch. You can call it your couch when you start paying rent. Until then, no complaining about who lives here. Lives here? He's gonna live here? I mean, if you think we're ready, Twig. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, shut up, Twig. This isn't about you. Why? Because you're worried you'll have to share a cushion? No! Because I... Because I'm concerned. You barely know this guy. And it's dangerous out there for humans. Oh, that's rich and condescending. I am not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. You're cool with Twig moving in, right? I don't know this guy. You talk about him a lot. But yet, I don't really it's know a him. Choice. Just hurry up. It's not that simple. I don't know him. Twig could be a rapist or he could be an anti-rapist. What's it gonna be? Um, I don't look, I don't trust him. He kept eyeing me down the first 30 seconds, so I don't trust him. Hell yeah, that's the right call. Twig's a creep. You oh, think yeah. I'm a creep? You are a creep. Everybody better stop calling my boyfriend a creep. Effective immediately. Oh, you know, he's eating I all our cereal. Didn't realize I was a creep. Ugh, that's enough of this. Twig, let's go to the park. To, <laughs> to, to kiss. <laughs> Anybody got a fucking problem with that? Eesh. Sorry I said anything. Let's just get back to the bounty hunting. 
Can't wait to show you those new commercials. Hey there, I'm talking to you right there. And you want to get high off of other aliens, but you don't have the necessary holes or ports on your body to do so? Don't worry. You come on down to the High On Live store, and we're going to hook you up with one of our brand new hyper bars that you can just shove other living creatures into and drain them of their life force so you can get high. I know what you're thinking. Can I put a human in the brand new hyper bomb? Because the old ones were too small. Whoa. For humans. Guess what? The new ones are big enough for humans. So, yes, you could put a human in there and then smoke the human. And that's not all. If you pre order now, we'll give you a pair of mag boots. Magnetic boots that let you walk on walls. Doesn't that sound neat? If you use them to walk up walls, they'll get you high too. Mag boots, they'll get you high. Hyper bombs, they'll also get you high. So come on down to High on Live. Hello there. It did a thing. And welcome to Human TV. I'm your horrifying host, Humandor, the human. What's that? Uh-huh. You don't know what humans are? Why, they're the recently discovered new alien species. They're very weird little creatures. They do scary things like go to the ball, breathe through their mouths. And on top of it all, they only pee in specified rooms. And yes, they've been in the news a lot lately for being a potent illegal drug. But you might not have heard about all the terrifying movies they made back on their home planet. Ugh, these movies are sick and twisted. And we're about to show you one of them. So steal your stomachs and turn off the lights because it's time for... Blood harvest real. <laughs> oh, oh, it makes you want to throw up. Ah, Already seen Blood Harvest, so. Folk plug. All right. Hey, what's up, bro? Power slide. Welcome, welcome. What's up? Okay, so regular jetpacks is cool, but you can agree on that, but what if you can go faster, basically insane, right? You know, we can do that. Okay, hopefully this makes it go faster. Mm -hmm. Good choice. Really good choice. Dad, customer is gonna steal something. Job, don't say stuff like that. Whoa, why would I steal from you guys? I'll just let them rob you blind. I'm sorry, Bounty Hunter. He doesn't mean it. Okay, thank you. Wow, how many years of college did it take for you to learn how to climb? Look at this! Uh. Hopefully I'm doing it right. There's a barrier there. Okay. Okay, so that there's a barrier over there. Okay, with that. Whoa. All Son of a gun. Hey, what up? 
Would you mind watching my bike for just a minute? I, I, I just keep an eye on it. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, you know, okay, sure. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Don't let anything happen to my bike. Don't worry, I got you, bro. Hey, how's it going? Uh, where's my bike? What? I asked you to watch my bike. What? And you just let someone take it. Where'd it go? That was an expensive bike. Oh my God, I, I swear to God, it was right here just a second ago. I, what? I, I, I swear to God. Right here. I don't even know. <laughs> my mommy gave me that bike after my daddy yelled at me. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Fuck you. No. Fuck you. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. You piece of shit. I thought you were a good guy. You're a bad guy. You're a black hat hacker. I was about to put some real cool mags on it, make it even cooler. But it was pretty cool already. And you lost it. You bastard. You bitch. Fuck you, bitch. You stupid fucking prick. Get out of here. I'm out of here. You're get out of here. This is my thing. This is my space. Walk away. Walk away, Renee. Walk away. Can you just leave me alone? I'd like to mourn my bike. Oh, where are those guys with the the drum? Let me see if I can find those guys. Come see what I've got in stock on the Drum guy. Oh my God! You found the kid a drum, right? Yes. Is this, is this for him? Can he have it? Yes. Yes again. Yes. Yeah, here, of course yours. again. Enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. He is so excited and grateful. He's not gonna let you down. This was a good use of your time. Thank you so much. Well, what do you know? Fuck it. That fucker's pretty good. Oh yeah, sick music. Bro, he's a pro. I can't tell if this is the whole song, though. No. You got this. You're a pro. I can tell you're going to make it big. again Mm. 
Hello, yeah, bro. Anna, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Hey, what up? You doing? Oh, I like where your head's at. Good day to you, food customer. Look out, asshole. Gonna make the way go do 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 Some breakfast and now a late night in the night By the time the sun sets go do 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 Oh power slide six feet please Okay so this is the country song the g3 i'm like one of the few people of my species who did not join the g3 i'm we, we call ourselves mercaloids or mercalids or what i, can, I literally can't remember the name of our <laughs> species but that's fine I, it's not important we're, we're literally cannon fodder that's kind of what our species is so everyone gets pressured into to joining the g3 and then they get killed it sucks and i don't want to be one of those mm. one of those dead mm. cannon fodder types i want to live my life I'm not going to be peer pressured into joining a criminal organization. No exactly. Way. I'm going to go hang out here in Blim City. But guess what? People are a little racist towards me because of all all the other people in my species are working for an evil organization. So now I got to deal with discrimination. If you can believe it, that sucks. It's not fun. Discrimination's not good. You heard it here first, folks. No. <laughs> Don't. Discrimination sucks. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Maybe I'll have more to say if you come back. Okay. I'll see you later. I'll come back. Oh yes. Oh yes. This adds a few wrinkles to creatures fucked up brains to boost the psyche connection to the minion children with this series of like mind control enemies a look a little quicker. I'm Jeffrey Gun Shooter. I'm Jerry. Also gun shooter. Jerry, Bob, and Je Jeffrey Gunshooter, one of them with the hyphen at Smith at the end. And we're all here to... You know, your holster's not as much fun as you might think. And the bad guys. Let me tell you, Jeffrey, I'm excited because I got a new gun I've been dying to try out. Can you show me? Uh, no. It's actually not allowed to be on TV. The gun's not allowed to be on TV? Are we still recording? I, I just was telling you personally... I was excited. I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is off. <laughs> turn off the camera. You didn't want to do it. Let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. Is this not a scripted show? Is this a reality show? This is a rea- Okay. Yeah. No, that's good. <sighs> it just feels like my passion, my heart's not there anymore. 
We used to do the gun shooting thing, and it was uh, just the three brothers and brother-in-law or something. I don't know what. <laughs> Two brothers and a brother-in-law, and we we loved shooting guns. But now it's just like, oh, we got the sponsors giving us money, and you know that feels nice because I like money, but I just don't like losing that passion in my soul. Hey, Bob, gun shooter Smith. Watch out, Bob. Yeah, but before I do that, can I just say, like, we had months of pre-production and months of planning before that, where you had every opportunity to voice your opinion Ooh. on this. Maybe you may have talked after, I mean, I just, you just welcomed me into your family about two years ago. Thank you for the clarification, Bob. Now, I'm when you enter your family. Uh, it's more for myself. My anniversary's coming up soon. I don't want to forget. Did you marry one of our sisters, maybe? Just trying to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah. And you took her name. That's very progressive of you. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it didn't seem like the right thing to do. I don't know. We would have shot you if you didn't. It was the right thing to do. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if, if my brother-in-law tells me to shoot my other brother-in-law, I guess I gotta do it, but uh, I, I mean... Uh... Hey, are you guys still rolling, or is this off? See, this is what I'm talking about. What's for the show? Wow. What's our life? What is my life anymore? It's, it's just all TV. The lines are blurred, for sure. The lines are blurred. I love you guys. I love you, don't shoot. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. Please don't shoot. I won't shoot. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys. Just smile. It's an exciting okay. reunion. Okay, buddy. Are you guys still rolling? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had this happen to you? Help. Help me. Help me. Help, help me. Him. Please help. Ow. Ow. Help me. Help me. Ow. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. 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 Please. Because now uh -oh. we have the brand new this. Tia. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 well, oh, well, okay. Well, now, well, now I sort of, now I can. Now I can kind of see. And that's what you'll see when you buy <laughs> this for yourself. And you can never have to deal with this. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, 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 oh hold on. Wait a second, get out of here. Hold on. Uh -oh. Ever again. Ancient secrets revealed. Ancient secrets revealed. Ancient Whoa. secrets revealed. Their secrets and their ancient. And we're going to reveal them. Just, just one. In my backyard. Whoa. Whoa. Don't look at it. I just can't tell the people watching. Um, sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna cut this short. Come on, man. I only got two secrets. Don't tell that one either. Bye bye. <laughs> Hi, I love you. Hi. I'm speaking on behalf of horny geriatrics everywhere. We're a little upset with the way that uh, Magistrate Clug Nugman is, is trying to deal with us. Uh, he thinks it's a problem that we're all so horny and <sighs> sex all the time. It is. It's not a problem. It's Maybe. Uh, we don't like being told that what we're doing is wrong. You know, old people, we get horny. It's just part of life. We're not going to stop having sex. We're not going to stop being horny. That's all. That's my promise. Who does Clug think he is? But yeah, I've got wrinkly skin and I fuck all the time. I'm allowed! That's fine! So don't elect Clug Nugman, he's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic Whoa. sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. And he came in and he said, no, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. <laughs> like that for a while. And then next next day he went on the news and he said he's gonna stop the geriatrics from being so horny. Whoa. Well, guess what, Clug Nugman? We're here, we're horny, and we're old. Get over it, fucker. Ancient <laughs> Get over it. Alright, well that's fun. But not looking for ancient secrets i'm kind of just want to keep going um hmm. 
fun. You think I forgot you sided with this dipshit instead of me? No. I don't be like that. Bro, don't be like that. Nice moves. Yes, night moves. Still very broken. What's it like up there? You gotta tell no, me. It's down. fresh. Nope. Oh, hey. I'm still here. It's fresh. The one thing you gotta know is that it's fresh. Well, let's go back in. Yeah. No! I figured that was going to happen. No, 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 no. All right. Well, that's not going to work, so let's just go back. Get messed up, boy. Get messed up. Get messed up. There's more of them. Get sliced. No timeouts. We are done. Oh, hello. We are done with the timeouts. We go right for the kill.
Where are they? Fuck yeah! Hmm. Whoa, what's up? What's in here? Uh, what's over here? So there's... Oh, what the hell? I didn't even see that one. Okay, so this one must be up here. Maybe it's way up here. The jetpack was a great investment. You know, I love it. How do we get down there? Okay, so there's this on the outside over here hmm oh hello Delightful. Um, I'll figure this out. Maybe here? Oh. Up here? Meh, it's okay. This is going to be a sick view. Whoa. Hmm. 
Let me see. Where the hell am I? Um, I don't think I'm supposed to make it up here. Um, okay. I don't think I did this right. But, you know, whatever. Whenever I played these games right. Oh, look. There is a chest somewhere here. Where is it? Is it behind this door? I think so. So I don't see it down there. It's right behind this door or like down here. Hmm. This is using me. Doing a power slide, look at you. I don't think I was supposed to come here. That doesn't seem right. This augmentation gives Gus an alternate, alternative mode of sucking up enemies, charging them, and releasing them, pulling everything towards you in one big burst. Okay, cool. Up, human. Let's save these humans quick. I'm having serious flashbacks to Gatlas. All right, peace out, human. So this way. Well. Oh my gosh. 
I tried, bro. Chill. Hmm. Oh. Beyond the Stars, number six. I don't think I did this right. I supposed to go hey this is nice hmm Where are they then? Is it way up there? No. It can't be. Yes. Let us go. Whoa, it's a nice, nice, you got a nice Samsung tablet. It's the only way. be one up there. There has to be one here. What's the plan? No.
malen. No, you're kidding me. No. No! Mario 3? Damn. and just use me and we would still win trust me we need this club <laughs> sent over the details on an extremely powerful gatlian another living gatlian really that's right supposedly he's in the possession of another g3 officer a scientist named dr john giblets john giblets i can't find shit on him i don't even know where he is what you're asking us to find him how we do it the old-fashioned way john giblets Maybe we find out his coordinates and warp him in. I'm sending you to Blim to gather intel. I don't know. I'm fucking tired, kid. Maybe you'll appreciate me more if you do my job. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But we'll pick up your slack. All right. Skip the portal door and just head out into Blim. Oh, and before you go, you might need a little extra Whoa. help. I went ahead and unlocked a new feature on your bounty suit. You're welcome. Whoa. Detective it's mode. Me. It's me, Pseudo again. I'm still here. I've been here the whole time. Welcome to detective mode. I'm here to help you sleuth out all those really big crazy mysteries. Suddenly? With the fucking detective mode? Well, why haven't we had access to this the whole time? All right, let's see. It looks like you're looking for a... Dr. John Giblets. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. <sighs> Let me do a quick search for you. This will solve it immediately and... No matches found. Oh, <laughs> well, it's never that easy. Why don't you start by interrogating the locals? Okay, I figured it out. This thing's fucking useless. Thanks, Gene. Useless. You, resident. Hey, uh, did, did you know anything about Dr. Giblets? What are you talking about? Hey there, Misudo. Looks like you're trying to interrogate a suspect. Let's ask them some questions. <laughs> what were you doing last night? Why do you look so nervous? Where is Dr. Giblets? I'm really sorry. I don't know who that is, but good luck. I guess. Hope you find them. Are you Dr. Giblets? 
Dr. Giblet's guy. My name's Craig, and I'm really sick from eating a lot of sandwiches. Leave me alone. <sighs> All right, Craig. Yo, oh, yeah. They didn't know anything. That was a real D rank interrogation. Sorry. Oh, well, maybe you could just find more people to interrogate. You'll get it next I don't want, time. I don't want to interrogate you. Yo, Vaniana, come see what I've got in stock on the food menu. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Uh, oh. <laughs> this is the trial version of detective mode. So there's going to be ads. You love ads. This will be worth it. I promise. Hey, uh, hey, tough guy. We're, we're looking for a Dr. Giblets. You got, you got any... You know the How doctor. The are you talking like that for? Oh, Jesus Christ. No. How are you doing? Like with your weird interrogation. Awful, annoying, and we should stop. With the drug guys. No, I don't have any fucking ties to the evil drug conglomerate. I'm a normal person trying to live a normal life. I don't know. Why in the fuck would I have any ties to the I don't know. What's your whole deal? Where's Dr. Giblets? Bummer, they were a tough cookie, but they were telling the truth according to my sensors, so let's say that was a C rank interrogation. Better luck next time, let's look for somebody else. Uh, all these guys have the same kind of face. Uh, whatever. All right. Hey, uh, do you mind if we have a moment of your time? Oh, uh, sure. What's this about, can I ask? What were you doing last night? I was playing snooker with Blordo. Yeah, he's really bad at it, so I won a few hundred pesos. It was a great night. Sounds nice suspicious. Nice you. you take an interest in people. That's admirable. Uh, yeah. Everyone knows about the G3. It's just, we shouldn't be talking about him in broad daylight like this, you know? Well, sure. Yeah. Would you accept a bribe? Accepting a bribe. It sounds like a win-win, actually. I get money, you get info. But uh, come to think of it, the G3 will kill me. So, uh, how about no? Shh. Hey, quiet. Don't say his name so loud. Dr. Jones. I can't help you. But Blordo. Why not? Mention my name. Michael Where's Saint. Blordo? And he'll talk. Where's Blordo? Cracks about my name. Where's Blardo? Holy shit. Wow. You, we actually got something we can use. Where's Blardo? That was an A rank interrogation. Good for you. Let's head over to Blardo and mention Michael Taint. Well, you are always in some kind of rush, aren't you? I'm not judging. I'm just, just, just observing. I am. Wonderful. Excellent choice. Gus. Like the type. Oh, what a buy! I'm not finally just yet. The hell out! Uh oh, did someone order some sweezy? Yo, bounty hunter, want to do some perfectly legal business? Okay, I guess I have to talk to you. What's up, bro? Let's do some legal business. Hey, Hope we having fun playing Mario 3. Michael Saint. Whoa. Hey, 
Hey, this is my favorite VIP. Yeah, you don't have to wait through any of this funny business. You are allowed right in, my friend. Yeah, you better head straight through. I don't want jerks like you hanging around. Shit, thank you. Let's do this shit. Nice moves. Okay, so we're looking for this new high on life store. Hopefully oh, yeah, the slums hey, are hey, a little yeah. more chill now uh, that we took again, out nine no torgs. To me, I'm the broken leg guy. Hey, Nobody we heard you were asking around for giblets. Well, the torgs are with the G3 now, so it's best not to stick your nose where where it don't. Wait. Oh shit! It's you! Oh, fucking goddamn it! Hey. Oh god! It's the bounty. Oh, I'm in pain. Jump, 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 jump. Jump, 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 jump. Wow. Let's go, baby!
Hey, you don't have to run everywhere. You know, you might want to slow down and enjoy the scenery once in a while. Look at this place. Hey, I'm gonna clean up you on all six. Hey, where'd you go? Let's glom the two of them. Solve a mystery for you got to kill guys. It's, it just feels weird. Some people need to go to the city. Here I am. Get wrecked.
Get wrecked, bro. I'm pseudo, by the way, you know me. Dude, go away. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what that's what the fuck we're gonna do. <laughs> Hello and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? Question, thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right, that hot new species you've been hearing about. High on life hyperbongs are the only way to get that fix. <laughs> some tough nuts to crack don't lose motivation you're doing great but you do get a d ranking because that one sucked it is my pleasure to welcome you to high on life are you being helped already hmm. oh i'm so excited you asked Hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger Whoa. a psychedelic effect in the operator. High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. So sorry, that is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? You know, I can't recall whether or not I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new hyperbong six. No thanks. Ooh, they really want to make that commission, huh? Ooh. Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. I tried. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. 
Oh, 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 sorry. Hi. Thanks for shopping at High on Life. I I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Oh, man, this again. L look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I I'm, I'm kind of a fuck-up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in the crowd. I'm good. But, but so you know about him. About him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. Smart guy. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. They're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical. It's weird. I don't know. I'm just here. I'm just here. That's right, it's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyperbongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. What? I don't. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, hmm. shit. Not not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. No. Uh, 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 hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. I'm Derek. Uh, I'm going to be a personal uh, High on Life pro pro professional today. Um, do, do, that makes sense, right? Does, does that sound okay? I'm, I'm new here. Oh, oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight lunch, and we literally just opened. So, uh, i only been here for, like, half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. <laughs> <sighs> Me? Oh, no, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was, uh, well, it was a bad idea for me, probably. God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Hmm. Uh. Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off! You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Part of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good friend, but I assure you. The hell are you saying to me? Right. A word to the wise. Back the Stay hell up. off. We've got this Bro, you have no idea who the hell you're messing with, so back the hell off. Whoever you are, man, just back off. I would have slapped your ass right here and now.
I swear I knifed him. Alright, whatever. I swear I knifed him. Son of a bitch. No, don't.
You called and I picked up. Let's fucking go! Really? You fell into the poison water? Welcome back. We've got company. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, great. You fuckers again. No worry. They're cool. We've been observing you. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies not. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically, Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblets. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little walk trail for us. We're thinking you can mm -hmm. find those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. Who that way, Clark knows? Get little hands dirty. You dig? I don't know if I dig, but I'll see if I can handle the challenge. You dig. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. We're damn so fast. Dr. Maybe hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that hypothetically happen, we have nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug never happened. Reason. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Oh shit, yeah. Let's go see what Club's been up to. One minute. So? I yeah. need to shit. Through the portal door and go see Club or what? She about that. Don't Club yell at me. Send them over. I didn't know they'd be so weird. I know. Mm. <laughs> on the next episode.